Welcome to our How to Pair Your Leica Device to AB Quantum video. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to connect and get your Leica device working on AB Quantum. If you're ever curious if your device is compatible or if you have a compatible device, you can always click the information icon in the top right corner. It'll bring up a list of devices that are compatible, and then you can go from there. You can see here Leica GeoVid Pro and CRF Pro rangefinders are in that list. Now, for Leica devices, they're pretty easy to pair up. You can see this one's already trying to pair, but just in case, let's go ahead and go over on the device itself what we need to do. So we're going to start by going over how to navigate the menu. There's an indented and a non-indented button. The indented button is your menu button. The non-indented button is your range or enter button. So we're going to press and hold on the button that has an indention to bring up the menu. You can see we've done that here. To scroll, we're going to continue pressing that same button until we get to Bluetooth. Now we're going to press Enter, and you can see we're in the Bluetooth menu, and then we can cycle through the options with the Range button, which is the Enter button on this device. Here we've got it on. To save that setting, move over to the Menu button and go ahead and tap it. And then we can cycle through by continuing to tap the menu button and we're back to the main screen. You can see the Bluetooth icon flashing in this instance. If it was flashing before, your device is more than likely ready to go. Now on the AB Quantum app from the devices page, which is accessible down here from the navigation bar, you'll see that we have our device. Double check your serial number is the serial number that you want to pair just in case you see multiple devices and go ahead and tap on it. When you do that, a pin number is going to pop up in the rangefinder. You can see we have pin number 28. Let me input a wrong one here so you can see what happens if it's wrong. No harm, no foul. Let's go ahead and input the right number and it'll automatically clear. There you have it. So we're now connected. Now on the rangefinder itself, just tap the range button as you and you'll see here the display will go back to normal. The Bluetooth icon has stopped flashing, which means that we are connected. So we're going to go ahead and we'll leave this device. We're not going to be using it anymore. However, if you go to pair your your rangefinder and you don't see it in the menu and Bluetooth is on and that Bluetooth icon that you saw before is not flashing, then it's very likely that it's paired to another device already. And in that case, you're not going to be able to connect it until you either remove it from whatever else it's paired to, or you can cycle the Bluetooth on and off to get it back in and flashing and ready to pair again. So you can see here in the app, we are paired up. It has our license level. You can see we've disconnected now. Uh, one thing to note is the rangefinder fell asleep, but the pin number feature is only going to happen the first time. You'll see we'll connect right back up and it's not going to prompt us for the pin. Um, we have a settings button up here. You can see we can live sync on and off. We have our device type, our device ID, and our license level. Different devices will have different license levels, whether that's Elite or Pro. We'll go ahead and back out. And then from this menu, you can see we have settings or remove the device. And that is how you pair your Leica device to AB Quantum. If you have any questions or if you need any assistance, as always, please reach out and contact us. Please like and subscribe to these videos. Uh, to reach out to us directly, you can just click down here in the shoot menu, navigate, and then support, and it'll send us uh, an email ticket, and we'll be happy to assist. Thank you, and I hope you have a good day.